You recording? Yes. Oh. Hello, Mr. Jones. My name is Morgan. I'm going to be your nurse for today. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. I'm just going to put some sanitizer on my hands right here. Can I please have your name and date of birth? My name is Thomas Jones, and my date is my date of birth is July 19th, 1994. Okay, can I please see your armband? Thank you. So right now I'm just going to um, do a assessment of your respiratory system. Okay. Okay. So um, let me just wipe off my septic flow here first. Okay, and before we get started, um, I just want to ask you a few questions. Do you smoke any cigarettes? No. Okay, do you smoke at all? No. Okay. Also, do you have any respiratory problems, like any wheezing, asthma, emphysema, nothing no, like no. that? No. Okay, good. So, I'm just going to um, get started. I'm going to inspect your chest area first, okay? Okay. So upon inspection, I'm going to inspect, can you just look your head up just a little bit? Okay. I'm going to inspect for vascularity. I'm going to also inspect for color. Okay. Check and see if you're blue or if you're pale for pallor. Okay. I'm going to check for hair distribution. Hair distribution seems to be non-existent and there isn't any hair on the chest area. The chest is symmetrical on both sides. So I checked your color, I checked your vascularity, I checked your symmetry, your hair distribution. And I don't see any lesions or any cuts or anything on the patient's chest. I want to check the posterior side for the same. Checking for symmetry. Also checking for color. No blue or paleness on the patient. There aren't any lesions on the patient. And there isn't any here on the back side as well. Okay, so I'm just going to check for your respirations. Can I please see your pulse? I'm going to check your pulse. I'm going to check it for 30 seconds. Okay, give me a second to relax your arm. So the respirations are deep. The pattern is regular. He has a regular rhythm. And I have respiration rate of 21 breaths per minute, which is pretty regular. I didn't feel any irregularity in your pulse, so that is good. Next, I'm going to just um, check your back area here. I'm going to place my thumb on your T10 vertebrae okay on your spine and I'm just going to tap lightly with my fist okay and if you're in any pain please let me know no 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 pain no okay I'm going to do it to the other side as well okay okay no no pain no okay good next I'm just going to um check your breath sounds with my stethoscope okay okay just going to warm it up just a little bit Okay, so at first I'm going to start up here mm -hmm. where your trachea is. Just lift your neck just a little bit for me. Thank you. I'm going to use the veil of my stethoscope to listen for regular bronchial sounds. And when I check, just breathe in regular for me and then breathe out through your nose. Mm -hmm. Deep breath in, then deep breath out through your mouth. I'm sorry, out through your mouth.
take a really deep breath. Yeah. Okay, let me turn my belt over to lift it to your chest again. Breathe in for me. And breathe out through your mouth. Thank you. Breathe in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. So when I listened to his interior chest right here along the trachea, I heard bronchial sounds. When I came right here at the edge, where the sternum is, I heard vestibule bronchial sounds. And then when I got right under here, I heard vestibule sounds. And I did not hear any crackles, any wheezing, any strider, any friction rubbing. <coughs> I'm going to do the same thing for the back. I'm going to use my bell to also take to the front. Relax your arms for me, sir. Thank you. And deep breath in and then out of the mouth. Okay, let me turn my bell around to listen. I'm mean, my diaphragm around to listen to the chest area. And one more. Okay, good. Thank you. So I heard once again regular breath, regular bronchial breath sound when I started right here at the um at the base of his neck. And then as I went along the midline of his back where the spine is, I heard normal and regular vestibule bronchial sounds. And as I went at the lower end of his scapular line, I heard regular and normal vestibular sounds. Okay, sir. Now I'm just going to Palpate just lightly. Can you please say 99 for me as I move my arm down mm -hmm. your chest and your um, back, okay? Go ahead. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay. And can you do it again for me? 99. 99. 99. 99, 99.
Okay, thank you. So, Fremitus seems to be symmetrical as the patient says, 99. And I'm just going to listen to your um, lungs on the side here, okay? Okay. Lift up this arm for me. Breathe in, out, in and out. Okay. Okay, good. I'm going to do the same in two spots on the left. Breathe it in for me. sounds in the peripheral area seems to be normal as well and his respirations are deep and even okay mr jones well um <clears throat> so you haven't had any cough have you no ma'am okay no cough um no um unexpected or random spew coming up at times or anything no ma'am okay good so do you have any questions for me no ma'am not at all. Okay, I'm just going to wipe my septic stuff again. And I'm going to report these findings into my um, documentation, okay? Okay. And if you don't have any questions for me, I would just like to take this time to say to continue to not smoke. Yes, ma'am. Um, secondhand smoke can be dangerous as well. Yes, ma'am. And um, if any random cough, <laughs> excuse me, does arise, please contact your primary physician right away yes. and let them know the characteristics of the cough and how long it's been going, if it's causing you any pain or anything like that, okay? Also, any um, changes in your breathing or anything, especially with exercise or not w without exercise or with any force, anything, please call your um, primary care physician if anything changes, okay? Okay. So if you don't have any questions for me, I'm going to let you um, get dressed, okay? And um, we will meet you back out front. Just want to put some sanitizers on my hands before I leave. Thank you. You're welcome.